Hi, this is Peter Taiti and Manos Brilakis from the Minneapolis Heart Institute and the Cardiovascular Innovations Foundation. And this is case 116 for the Manual of CTO Interventions. This is a case illustrating use of a cutting balloon for facilitating reverse card. The patient was an elderly man presenting with stable angina. He had previous interventions, but he now had a, a CTO of the right coronary artery, which was the culprit for his symptoms. Dual angiography shows a well-defined tapered proximal cap. There was a short occlusion length with uh, a diseased but patent distal RCA with collaterals coming from the LAD. These were septal collaterals. Therefore, given the short occlusion length, we plan to first attempt undergrade wire escalation, followed by retrograde given the nice septal collaterals and ha leaving undergrade dissection reentry as a third option. We used a biradial approach for this patient with uh, seven French slender sheaths in both arms. We engaged the left main with a 4 row EBU guide catheter and inserted a workhorse wire into the LAD and the right coronary artery via the left wrist using an AL1 guide catheter. We then did undergrade wire escalation with a Corsair microcatheter and several guide wires, including Fielder XTA, Samurai RC, Pilot 200, and Confianza Pro 12. However, unfortunately, we were not able to cross the lesion. Partially, the lesion was poor support. We can see here that the Amplatz guide is not coaxial. That is why we used a guide catheter extension that was advanced close to the proximal cap using the balloon assisted tracking. Balloon is halfway in and out, balloon is inflated, deflated, and the guide extension is advanced over it. However, despite having the guide extension close to the proximal cap, we could not penetrate it. Given that, we decided to switch to the retrograde approach. We did a surfing and a contrast guided injection and eventually we were able to cross with a caravel microcatheter and a SUO or three guide wire. This was advanced to the distal right coronary artery as confirmed by left injection. We then were able to advance the guide wire all the way to the mid RCA and then eventually using the Pilot 200 this was advanced uh, subintimally next to the undergrade guide wire and then we attempted reverse card with a 3.0 and 3.5 undergrade balloon, but we were not able to advance the retrograde wire into the undergrade guide catheter. To investigate the reason why that was the case, we did intravascular ultrasound over the undergrade wire. And what we found is that the undergrade wire was as expected within the intima in the proximal trilumen. However, the retrograde guide wire, the Pilot 200, was in the subintimal space. We therefore have this situation over here with the undergrade wire into the true lumen, whereas the retrograde wire is in the subintimal space. And this can be a challenging situation because a fairly thick amount of tissue may have to be penetrated to achieve uh, re-entry. To facilitate this, we did uh, inflation with a 4.0 by 10 millimeter cutting balloon over the undergrade guide wire in an attempt to create fenestrations between the intimal and the subintimal space. And uh, after doing that, we were able to advance a retrograde R350 guide wire all the way uh, into the aorta. Interestingly enough, it did not go into the guide extension, but we did not want uh, to take any chances. We therefore decided to insert snare it. So the Retrograde wire was snared with a 27 by 45 millimeter three loop snare and then uh, um, was successfully externalized. Stents were placed in the proximal and mid right coronary artery. We checked uh, that there was no injury on the left coronary artery and uh, a good final result was achieved with T3 flow in the right coronary artery. There are several lessons from this case. The first one is that even in lesions that appear to be favorable for undergrade crossing, sometimes that will fail, requiring alternative crossing strategies such as, such as retrograde crossing. In this particular case, the proximal cap could not be penetrated with various guide wires 
and uh, that's why retrograde had to be used. The second is that when we have difficulty doing reverse card, Ivus can help under explain the mechanism. In this particular case, the mechanism was subintimal position of the retrograde wire and intimal or true lumen position of the undergrade wire. And by using an Ivus, we were able to find that. And then using a cutting balloon, we were able to create a connection between the true lumen and the subintimal space and successfully um, do the reverse cart and cross with the retrograde guide wire. And finally, when snaring retrograde guide wires, it's best to snare long wires. Actually, short wires should not be crossed because then one may not be able to uh, let it go and may have to pull the wire all the way through. And ideally, the wires that are snared should be the ones that are made for externalization, such as the R350 or the RG3 guide wire. Thank you.